Hi, I'm Nicole Jordan with Marcello's Wine Market Cafe. We are about to make our signature drink, which is a lemon basil martini. We can serve it two ways, with either the lemon vodka or with Hendrix gin. Okay, so what you do is you line up your freshest ingredients. That's a key thing to making classic good cocktails. Some very fresh basil that we have a friend that has a farm. He brings us fresh basil at least twice a week. Uh, lemons for garnish. You'll have a half ounce of simple syrup. We make that in-house. It's equal portions of five pounds of sugar and uh, five gallons. You top off a five gallon container with boiling water. And that's why it's called simple syrup. And then fresh squeezed lemon juice. We squeeze this in-house. Everything fresh makes the perfect uh, cocktail. So you're more of a bar chef than a bartender. Um, also, we like to muddle our basil leaves instead of infusing vodka with it. Uh, that way it's a more consistent, fresh flavor. And to get the best muddle, use two packets, uh, about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. The granules in the sugar is going to help muddle the basil and it's coarse. So, and you use about, I'd say about five or six good basil leaves. One, two, three, four. These are kind of big, so I think I can get away with these four. Just kind of break them up gently. And I put the lemon juice in, the simple syrup. Get your muddler, one with good little knobs on the bottom. The wooden ones are fine, but we like these because they have the little teeth and it'll help grind up and get some of those oils and flavors out. So, and you just muddle it by just pushing down. It's a great aroma. Mm. Fresh basil out the garden. And you take your Hendrix gin. We're going to do this with gin because Mary likes gin. Uh, you're going to take about two and a half ounces of Hendrix gin. And I've been bartending for years, but you still, for true cocktails, you want to use a measure. You definitely want to use a jigger. You want the exact amount. You top this off with ice. Very key. I like to put a lot of ice in here. It's good to have uh, cubed hard pieces of ice. And you can never shake it too much. In fact, I train my bartenders to shake until it frosts on the outside and their hand almost sticks to the shaker. You shake it till it hurts. And then when you pour it out, after you've shaken that long, you can feel the frost on the outside. And when you pour it out, you're going to have these beautiful ice crystals floating on top. And you, so you want to serve them right away because you don't want those ice crystals to melt away. And you've got this fresh green color. And I'm pouring two small ones. It is the afternoon. Okay, and what we do is we push a little hole in the center of a lemon ring and you take the little bud on top the basil which is almost like a flower and you slide it through so and you float that on top the drink so every time you take a sip you have a whiff of this lemon and basil and it is divine <laughs> oh great thanks for coming chin chin <laughs>